Hey, what's going on? Whew, have I been slacking on the YouTube. I've been watching a bunch of it because I've been making anything of it. Partly to do with my editing program. I'm not pleased with how they did their update. Anywho, it's uh, the 24th of August. August is almost over. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's a friggin' gorgeous day out here today. A little overcast, but uh, the sun's shining mostly. We're going to do a headliner install video on the pickup. Is, uh, there's the new one. I actually bought this a while ago. LMC product, I believe. I actually got the box right over here. Spare tire for Jimmy. Uh, someplace in Long Beach, so I guess it was not LMC. They come out of back east. Oh, look, a Jimmy. More on that to come. I'm way behind on videos. Way behind. That was a sneak peek for you all. So. No headliner in this truck. It used to have one. Shortly after I got it, it was sagging real bad, so I pulled it out. Tried to fix it. It didn't take. As they usually don't, the foam backing just breaks down. Is that in focus? I don't know if that lens is a little dirty or what, but it just doesn't look like it's in focus. But anywho, I'm going to show you how to do a headliner in one of these trucks. It's real simple. I'm also going to pull the shelf out. I'm not pleased with it. I'm not using it as I was intending to. I was going to mount the CB up there, but it just didn't quite fit. And this thing takes a lot of viewing angle out of the windshield. So, uh, my edge, my whatchamacallit's coming apart there. Anywho, so yeah, we're going to pull this out. We're going to put the Sun visors back up in the corner where they belong. Get the headliner installed. I have to cut one hole for the dome light. No big deal. But you can see the screws that go all the way around. They're pretty simple to pull apart. So let's get rolling. Alrighty, I went ahead and threw some safety glasses on because, you know, technically anytime you're using power tools, you should be wearing safety protection. But uh, I'm going to start by pulling out all the screws. Make sure that they're all the same length. If they're not, make note of where the longer ones and the shorter ones go. We have to pull all these upper trim pieces, and I believe these have to come out because I don't think you can pull them out far enough. And then I've got to figure out how to get in there. I have a screwdriver that'll work, but get in there to pop those out. And, uh, I'm going to lose my CB radio hanging doohickey. Maybe I can rig something up on the trim piece or something. I don't know. We'll see. I like having the mic up there, even though it's not really a functional CV at this point. I haven't even finished wiring it in. Speaking of wires, I can get through, get in there and clean all that stuff up. Anywho, let's get the pulling screws out.
see. Last trim piece to come out. Well, except for the matching one on the other side, but I'm going to pull the bolt out that holds your, your seat belt in. And on the 84 Chevrolet, so it's going to be about a 13 sixteenths. Just a three quarter is definitely too small. Smack yourself in the face like I almost did. And there's one screw on the bottom yet. It's just one of those that's doesn't want to come out with the ratchet, but it's a little too snug to pull out by hand. That right there on the seat. Grab my gun, which is way over on the other side. And there we have it. Essentially a stripped down Chevy truck interior. Pull that one side out. That one's got an extra screw that's got the coat hook on it, but I'm not going to show you that. Also, notice my uh, cover is busted on this one, so I'm going to have to try to find one of those sometime. But let me get that side out, then I'll show you what we've got it up with. Alrighty, all the trim pieces are out. Notice that uh, passenger side, the screw holes have actually pulled through. They're still sitting in here. I think it's the same as for the other side. You can see the plastic inside there. You can also see how much fading has been going on. Excuse me, I'm going to sneak to right back. And we're back. It's like we're having a second spring right now. We just had some rain and things are drying out again. But uh, yeah, i got to pull the um, dome light off, which the cover should just pop off. With two hands, can't get it with one, and then uh, the chrome piece goes over the top of the uh, new headliner, so that will help hold the back in place. And then I got to prep the uh, sun visors to get them ready to go back in. I got to pull them off that shelf yet, and uh, you can see the little clips that they screw into. So, pretty solid old truck, no rust up inside there. So holding up all right for 35 years old. So my cheesy paint job's coming off my speaker holders there, but oh well. So, yeah. Alrighty, pressing on. I should mention that if you had a headliner in that you were replacing, it would still be held in by the sun visors and by the dome light. So you'd have to pull those out to get the whole headliner to drop, but it's not glued it all to the to the roof. It just drops right down. It's on a, on a hard backing. These are done a little bit differently than the factory, so they don't have a they have a little bit of a foam padding on them, but I'll uh, show you on the Yimmy here. These are very common for these trucks. They just start coming apart. The crud starts falling, but this one, the whole backing piece is sagging, so this one will be getting replaced as well. But uh, the original one on this, all the fabric was just pulling off, and I pulled it off the original backing, and I tried to re-glue it, and it just never worked. So once that foam starts to break free, unless you can find out a way to get it all removed, there's no way you're going to resurface that, because this fabric is so thin. But uh, it'll be nice to get this back in, especially to get the box out of my garage. I'm going to sneeze again, so I'm going to shut the camera off. Back in a few. Alrighty, all trim pieces are out. Got the dome light off. Just two screws. Pulled the bulb out, but didn't really need to. Although my switches don't seem to be working. The light is not on. I think it still works. It's an LED bulb. So should probably just buy another couple of switches because these are pretty rusty and old. Um, got the... Got all sorts of 
critters are living underneath there. Uh, got the sun visors set so they're ready to go straight on. Screws are handy. Uh, do have to cut a hole for the light, but they make it very easy. I'm gonna set you all over here for a second. Get this thing out of its plastic bag. No, that can sit nice. There we go. Hands are somewhat clean. This right here. Pick y'all back up. So I've already got a hole cut in the back of the liner. So we're just going to take a sharp knife, trim that out. Get it installed. I see I've already got plenty of clearance for all the screws to go back in for the trim pieces. Same with on the front the side as well. So good. So you're not drilling through this liner. The original liner, this is a I think it's an ABS liner, plastic. The original was a, uh, like a cardstock. So I have to cut out the holes for the Sun visors as well. So, no problemo. Get me a sharp knife and we'll be at her here real quick. Can't find it. I'm looking at the wrong end. Uh -oh. Yeah, that editing program. I did some sort of update a while back, and I've just been struggling with it. I kind of lost interest in trying to use it, but I miss making videos. into it. Either suck it up and use that program or we'll find another one. So our holes are cut. Let's reposition and get this thing in the truck. Hi Brian. Hey Adder. Okay. Ah, now comes the fun part.
So we're going to use our head. Kind of hold everything. Get this screw started. That. Then we have to feed this guy through. Find the screw holes. And not drop everything. So I can't see. There's not a whole lot of room for adjustment on this. pieces have fallen. That might be it. That might be it. The hole is not in the right position. I hope that's not the case. I'm thinking. Okay, I got this one started. Chill and pause for a second, rest my shoulder. Just a little bit hurt. So back in the field. Yeah, let's take a turn for the worse real quick. The hole they cut out is not correct. However, I may have an out. This is the original backing. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the new one. Which I think I think I've read is just a little bit bigger so we can get rid of that because it is not sitting in there properly. This side is okay and I've tried to shift it and it doesn't want to move. So a little disappointed in that. Although it does seem to be a little far that way so if I could get it to come back this way but like I said I can't get the thing to shift at all. It's pretty well set. Yeah, if I get it to go just a little bit, it'd be all right, but I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Everything's loose. I put this trim piece, just one screw to hold it. Of course, that may be hitting on one side. But there's little notches in the headliner. I may be bottoming out on that, too, but I need to eat something to drink. It's a little, a little warm out here, so I'll uh, come back in a few. Alrighty, we got her figured out. Looking good. Looking good. No gaps all the way around. What I wound up doing was I put all the corner pieces in. Those let it float a little bit more. The uh, sun visors, and that's actually how the instruction said to put this thing, at least on the other headliner that I've got for the other truck. So you use the sun visors to hold it in place, and then the light, and then put your trim in. They were holding it too tight, they weren't letting it twist. So, the corner trim pieces go underneath all the other trim pieces. Everything else goes on top of these. So, it'll help suck it all up in there. But the holes don't quite line up for those, but I can adjust that. I can do some drilling or whatnot and get that squared away. But, much better. At least we got that part looking good. So, I don't know why, but this battery's just about dead. I need to throw it on the charger. 
Well, it's not done yet, but I got the front and back trim in. Corner pieces are fully secured. Basically, I just got to put the two end over the doors in. And then I uh, have to do a little bit of trimming to get the sun visors in. But uh, yeah, we got a fully optioned 84 Chevy K20 Silverado again. Just got to get the seat squared away. I have carpet for this thing too. So, but I got things I need to do to that truck to get it up and going so I will have a functional truck. But uh, yeah, button this up a little bit more and then we'll do a final closeout video. Alrighty, all the trim pieces are back on. You can see how far off the holes are for the sun visors. I have to cut plastic. Alright, can't get the thing to line up and I think the trim bezel on the, on the visors will cover all that but not a perfect fit everything's based off that light in the back so get the knife out do a little bit of trimming here and see what we can do you don't hear Charlie Price singing on the radio, but we're gonna just turn that right on down. Don't need no copyright infringements. I think we're done. I think it looks pretty good. A little bit of a pain to fit, but we got it worked out. So if you ever do one of these in a square body, the instructions say use the sun visors to hold it in place. That is actually correct pieces here had to come back down because the two screws on the front edge of course mine are a little chewed up but they got to come down so you can get the get the pieces in there got some fingerprints pressed into the foam hopefully that'll relax over a little bit of time but all in all I am very pleased with that it looks like I remember finishes off this interior Definitely see the color difference though between the new fresh, uh, I think they call it garnet red, that's the factory name, and then the faded 1984 upholstery. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've got new upholstery for this seat and new carpet, but we're going to do some other stuff to the Jimmy first because I don't want to take this thing completely out of service. I've never done a seat upholstery before. Shouldn't be too bad though. These things are getting all chewed up and aged. Ah, the joys of an old truck. So, utilize my little clip for my microphone. Not going to hang it off the rearview mirror because I'll just rip the mirror down. Uh, driver's side. If we fold her down here, got a little bit of the corners poking through up there. I'm not even going to worry about that. So, actually, I have the uh, foam that I cut out for those and for this. I might be able to just take a little piece and cinch it up because this side didn't do that. So, just be careful when you're doing it. Take your time. This one comes out pretty nice. This is not the LMC version. I think I bought this from Classic Industries, if I remember right. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy once we get that figured out and get it centered. But like I say, if you use these to initially mount it, that, that's okay. And then I was trying to get that to hold the back end up, but my suggestion would be to put the corner pieces up first, get these up, take these back down. That lets the whole thing float a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the holes don't quite line up for the for the sun visors. So, but nope, I'm happy with it. Finishes out the interior of my truck again. So good deal. So I'm going to end this here. We're going to go off to other things and catch you all in the next one. That'll be good.